Hello Pisces, Sun and Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. So we do have Release Your Ex, the time has come to clear your energy. All right, let's see why you're getting this card, Pisces, and how it resonates with your reading for today. The first thing that came to my mind is let go of the past, Pisces. Now this could very well be something that you're experiencing, or something that, you know, someone else is experiencing that you currently find yourself connecting with, but somebody needs to let go of the past okay Pisces we're gonna focus on you first and then we'll jump over to your person just keep in mind the roles can be reversed also keep in mind time is fluid so this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date how does Pisces currently view this relationship for Pisces how does Pisces currently view this relationship okay we have the ten of cups we got the eight of pentacles as well as the uh, judgment card it kind of looks like you're thinking, I'll say that. It kind of looks like you're thinking about reconciling here with someone. There's someone from your past that you do want to fix and repair things here with, okay? Whoever this person is, you could have had a family with them. You could have lived with them at some point. You could have been in a committed relationship or even married to this person. But overall, right, it kind of looks like there's someone from your past that you do want to fix and repair things um, with. Now, currently at the moment, I see you just thinking about it i don't necessarily feel like you're currently taking action towards this person or anything like that you're definitely thinking about it you're definitely taking into consideration on whether or not you should um or whether or not it's a good idea uh to be completely honest but let's look at this past person of yours how does this person <clears throat> currently view this relationship with pisces how does this person currently view Ooh, I know that that was loud. I am so, so sorry. We have the Three of Cups. We got the Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. With the Ace of Wands. Oh, okay. Kind of looks like you were dealing with this Queen of Pentacles here at some point. Okay. You could have been dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, maybe even a Capricorn, possibly a Cancer. Doesn't necessarily have to be the case. All right, Pisces, I'm going to be honest. Um... I feel like this person's currently connecting with someone else right now, okay? Uh, whoever they are, they do come off to me as somebody uh, fairly new that they're currently uh, connecting with. It's just something to be mindful of. Um, but I do feel like this person's currently connecting with someone uh, currently at the moment. We're going to look a little bit more into this connection, though. Tell me more about the Three of Cups. Tell me more about the Three of Cups. All right. We have the uh, Three of Pentacles. All right, King of Pentacles, and then we got the Two of Wands. Yeah, Pisces, this person's currently connecting with someone else. Um, it kind of looks like they're currently connecting with this King of Pentacles over here. This, to me, kind of feels like the very beginning stages of a relationship. So it kind of looks like these two are currently, like, you know, going through the process of, like, getting to know one another, you know, things of that nature. I gotta be honest, Pisces, I, I feel like this king is thinking about taking things a step further with them. In other words, they're, they're basically thinking about, you know, pushing for something more serious to transpire here between, you know, the two of them, okay? Um, yeah, it kind of looks like that, okay? I feel like the more this king gets to know this queen, the more they're just like, yeah, like, this is the one for me. Um, it does kind of have that um, feel to it, Pisces. All right, let's keep going. How does Pisces currently feel? How does Pisces currently feel? All right, so we have the Six of Cups, so the Nine of Pentacles, as well as the uh, Four of Cups. Kind of looks like you're having a very difficult time getting over this person and what you once upon a time had here um, with this person, Pisces. I feel like you're still in that energy of, oh, there we go. Because I was like, it kind of feels like you're in this two of wands like energy about this entire situation. You're very indecisive when it comes down to this entire situation. It's like, should I reach out to them or should I not reach out to them? Should I keep things as is between me and this person or should I not keep things as is between me and this person? You know, it just kind of looks like there's a lot of figuring out that, you know, needs to take place on your behalf. I want to see what the holdup is on your behalf, though. Tell me more about the uh, Four of Cups. We have the Page of Wands. We got the uh, Three of Cups. And then we also have the... Okay. All right. Okay. It kind of looks like... 
it kind of looks like the main reason, right? Why you're in this overall energy, right? Of having a very difficult time getting over this person has a lot to do with the fact that you're trying to find what it is that you once upon a time had here with this queen in somebody else. And it kind of looks like, it kind of looks like you're having a hard time finding that. You know what I mean? Like the connection that you have with this Queen of Pentacles, right? Um, you're trying to find the connection that you once upon a time had with this Queen of Pentacles and someone else. And it kind of looks like, it kind of looks like you're just unable, you know, to like find, right? What is it you once upon a time had here with this Queen of Pentacles um, and someone else? And I kind of feel like that's what causes you to feel like, man, maybe I should, you know, try to fix and repair things here with this queen. Maybe I should resurface back up here for them, you know, because, you know, from the looks of it, you know, you're having a very difficult time finding what it is that you once upon a time had here with this queen and someone else. Okay. All right. Let's, let's jump back over to this person. How does this person currently feel? Okay. We have the Six of Pentacles, we got the Knight of Wands, and then we also have the Eight of Pentacles, yeah. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Hierophant. Mm. To the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this is a person that they're connecting with, Pisces. I feel like this person is going to try to push for something more serious to transpire here between these two. I want to see how this queen feels about all of this, though. I don't feel like this is the queen's energy. Whoever this person is, they're harnessing a lot of masculine energy a lot of masculine energy um i don't feel like this is your person i feel like this is the person that they're currently connecting with though they're going to try to push for something more serious to happen here between these two and i feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that they're kind of looking at this queen like this is somebody like i can see myself settling down with having a family with getting married to one day you know things of that nature i'm kind of curious to see how this queen feels about all of this though i'm kind of curious to see how they're gonna feel about all of this because i feel like this queen is coming into this entire situation like listen i'm just here to have a good old time you know what i mean nothing more nothing less you know like that's kind of like the place that they're coming from, which is, listen, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I feel like this king is coming into this queen's life wanting something serious with them. I don't, it's weird because I don't get the impression that this queen wants something serious with them. You know, it's kind of like they're coming into this relationship like, listen, I'm just here to have a good old time. And, you know, which, listen, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But these two are not on the same page. Um, how does this, this queen feel about all of this? We have the Six of Wands. We have the Death card as well as the Page of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Nine of Pentacles. I don't feel like this queen has any sort of interest of settling down with absolutely anyone. This is that type of person. I say this a lot about this Nine of Pentacles energy. It never fails, okay? Which I'm not shocked or surprised um, by this person's overall energy. Nine of Pentacles is somebody who really does enjoy their singlehood. Like they really do enjoy it. Like this is that type of person that can be single and alone and, and perfectly fine and happy about it. Like this is not that type of person that feels like they need a man or a woman in their life. You know what I mean? Like that's just that type of person that we're kind of looking at here. So as far as like them giving up their singlehood for this relationship, uh, I just don't see them doing that to be completely honest. I just don't see them doing that. You know, this is somebody who really wants to focus right now on like their career, their growth, their expansion. They could even be thinking about going back to school to further their education. I just kind of feel like there's a lot of things that this person wants to do with their life. Um, and they don't want to be tied down to a person. They don't want to be tied down to a person. Like they, 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 they want to continue to remain single and free. <clears throat> yep. They want to continue to remain single and free. Because it kind of looks like, according to them, there's there's things that they want to do with their life. And whatever it is that they want to do with their life, they want to make those things their main focus slash priority. The last thing that they need is like a full-blown committed relationship in their life right now. So uh, it doesn't look like, it doesn't look like these two are on the same page, to be completely honest. Okay, what actions will Pisces take towards this person or moving forward? Okay, Pisces, we have the Ten of Pentacles, we got the Seven of Wands, as well as the Four of Swords. 
Interesting. I kind of see you, Pisces, deciding to resurface back up here for them. Okay? I do. Um, there's an overall energy of you wanting to heal things here with this person. There's an overall energy of you wanting to continue to fight for this. What's interesting, though, is that we have the two of wands to the seven of swords to the five of wands. I kind of feel like you're going to be extremely pissed off with yourself um, after you do this. Yeah, you're going to be extremely pissed off with yourself after you do this. As far as like resurfacing back up here for this person is concerned. And I want to see why that is. But before I do, I do want to look at this queen's energy. What actions will this queen take towards Pisces or moving forward? Because like this is like an overall energy of like, what the f was I thinking? Like, what the f was I thinking? Like, why did I freaking go back to them? I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, why did I go back to them? You know, it has that that feel to it. Um, something's something's causing you to become extremely pissed off with yourself. Okay, what actions will this person take towards Pisces or moving forward? All right, we have the world. We have the star. And then we also have the sun. Mm, that's kind of messed up, to be honest. But all right, I can see why you're pissed off with yourself, to be completely honest. Um... This is super petty on this person's behalf. This is super petty on this person's behalf. Super freaking petty. Um, this is kind of like the epitome, right? Of this person slamming the door in your face. Yeah, this is like the epitome of this person slamming the door in your face. Not only that, but I kind of see this person going as far as to like throw this new human in your face. Yeah, I see this person throwing this whole new human that they're connecting with in your face. So this person might tell you like, listen, Pisces, um, I've already moved on with my life. I'm currently connecting with, you know, the emperor now. So yeah, um, yeah, this is not going to work out. Sorry. You know, uh, it's super petty on this person's behalf. You know, I'm going to be honest to do all of this, but let me look at the world. Tell me more about the world. Okay, we got the nine of wands, we got the ace of cups, and then we also have the uh, ten of cups. I feel like you did something, Pisces, to really hurt this person really, really badly. And it kind of looks like they're looking at this, this opportunity like, oh, this is like the perfect opportunity, right, for me to slam the door in Pisces' face. Not only that, but I'm going to throw this whole new human in their face. See how they like it. You know what I mean? Like... I just kind of feel like this person's doing all of this just to kind of get back at you, to be completely honest, you know? So yeah, it does look like this person's going to slam the door in your face. And it also kind of looks like this person's going to throw this whole new human that they're connecting with in your face. And it is coming from a place of them looking at this opportunity, like, all right, this is a perfect opportunity for me to get Pisces back for everything that they put me through. You know what I mean? It does kind of have that feel to it, okay? But the Nine of Wands, I mean, I'm assuming that you did something, Pisces, uh, to this person that left them extremely hurt and disappointed. So it kind of looks like here they are to like return the favor in your direction. Tell me more about the nine of wands. We got the five of pentacles to the four of pentacles. And then we also have the uh, death card. This person also feels like the relationship that you guys once upon a time had here with one another, with one another, never met anything to you. Not saying that that is true. I'm not saying that that's true. But what I am saying is this. They genuinely feel on the inside like this relationship has never honestly meant anything to you. According to them, according to them, and I'm not saying that this is true. According to them, they kind of feel like you moved on pretty quickly here um, with your life. And that told this person a whole lot about you. Again, not saying that this is true. I'm not saying that you moved on with your life and you started entertaining, you know, other people shortly after this ending or whatever the case may be. But according to them, that's how they're looking at this entire situation. They're kind of looking at this entire situation like you never really cared about them. Um, there's something about you 
there's something about according to them again according to them according to them there's something about you moving on too quickly that caused this person to realize that you never really cared about this relationship that you guys you know shared here with one another because according to them they kind of feel like you wasted no time entertaining like the next one you know what i mean Again, according to them, not saying that all of this is true, but according to them, that's kind of, you know, how they're feeling. So with that being said, they're just like, you know what? This is the perfect opportunity, right? For me to throw this whole new human in Pisces face. Okay. Um, what else can you tell me for Pisces? Ugh. Okay, we have the chariot, we got the ace of wands, and then we also have the death card. This is like an overall energy of you. How do I explain it? Like after this plays out between you and this person, like granted, you're going to feel extremely angry and upset with yourself that you resurface back up here for this person because this encounter that you're going to have with this person, it's going to really piss you off. I'm sorry. Like it's really going to piss you off. Whatever it is that they're throwing in your face, which I do believe it is a whole new freaking human, it's going to piss you off. It's going to make you feel some type of weight. That's besides the point, right? Um, but I feel like this entire situation is going to inspire you to move forward and move on with your life. You're just like, no, you know what? That's it. Like, I'm moving forward uh, and moving on with my life. But I do see you harnessing a lot of anger and a lot of resentment towards this person. I do. I do see you harnessing a lot of anger and a lot of resentment towards this person. And it has a lot to do with the fact that they moved on with their life. They moved on with their life. You know, how do I say this? It just kind of looks like Pisces. And listen, maybe this is what's happening to you. Maybe, maybe not. You know what I mean? If it's resonating with you, then great. If not, forget about it, right? But it kind of looks like it kind of looks like you tried to move on with your life Pisces at some point right throughout the course of this ending that transpired between you and them you tried to move on with your life but it, it kind of looks like you never really allowed yourself to like fully go there with a person like you never allowed yourself to like run off into the sunset with absolutely anybody and it has a lot to do with the fact that who you want is them that's who you want right so you never really allowed yourself to fully move forward and move on with your life because who you want and what you want is them so the fact that they're actually letting you go and they're actually moving forward and moving on with your life, it does cause you to feel some type of way because it's kind of like, and I don't know if you're consciously aware of this or not, but it's kind of like you're anticipating and expecting for this person to move the way that you're moving. And because they're not moving the way that you're moving, it's causing you to feel some type of way because you're not moving on, right? With your life and running off into the sunset here with someone else you're anticipating and expecting for them to do the exact same thing right to not move forward and move on with their life and run off into the sunset with anyone else and it kind of, and i don't even want to say that that's what they're doing because i don't even feel like that's what they're doing to be completely honest and it's coming from a place of them not wanting a relationship that's it like this person doesn't want a relationship they want to be single and free it looks like they just want to have a good old time and like i said there's nothing wrong with that i don't know what's going to end up happening here between these two because these two are not on the same page. We got a queen here that just wants to have fun. And then we have a king here that wants to settle down and have babies. You know what I mean? Like these two are not on the same page whatsoever. So I can't sit here and say that they're actually moving forward and moving on with their life and running off into the sunset here with this person. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say all of that because I don't feel like they're running off into the sunset here uh, with this person. But that's kind of what's happening here, Pisces, is that because you're moving the way that you're moving... You want them to do the exact same thing. In other words, you don't want this person, you know, to run off into the sunset here with someone else. And because you think that they might be doing that with this person, it does cause you to feel some type of way. It's like you want this person to act from the same place you're acting from. And because they're not, it kind of has you feeling some type of way, you know? Um, all right. Let's see what else we can get for this situation. Kind of looks like this person is sticking to their guns here. Um, they're very determined to keep things as is between you and them, which is basically over. Okay. 
it, it kind of it, it, it kind of looks like that's kind of what they're choosing to do here okay um i don't feel like this person has any sort of intentions of revisiting this connection they kind of feel like the two of you are better off um not dealing with one another anymore okay what else we have the eight of swords we have the six of cups and then we also have the judgment card i also kind of feel like they're not happy about you resurfacing back up here for them i feel like this person tried like you know their hardest to like move forward and move on with their life and forget about you so the fact that you're resurfacing back up here for them and you're causing you know all of these old emotions to come back up to the surface you know for them i mean they don't like it but that's not gonna this person's not gonna allow their emotions um to influence them into taking you back i don't see that happening on top of that you know this person has a whole other human in their life so i mean then there's that but pisces to prevent all of this from happening don't resurface back up here for them avoid the heartbreak you know avoid the pain and just don't resurface back up here for them and for some of you to be completely honest for some of you, you might need to do this. Like, you might need to honestly resurface back up here for this person and see that this person has moved on with their life. So that influences you to get up and move forward and move on with your life and, and call it quits for once, right? Uh, for once and for all here with this person, you might need to go down that route. That's a possibility. You might need to go down that route, you know? That's a possibility. Um, but if you want to avoid getting let down and getting disappointed, I don't recommend that you do this. I don't recommend that you resurface back up here for this person because if you're not ready to see this person with somebody else, I don't recommend it. I just don't recommend it. I don't think that it's a really good decision uh, for you to make as far as like resurfacing back up here for this person is concerned. I just don't recommend it. If you're not prepared to see this person with somebody else, if you're not prepared for this human over here to throw a whole other human in your face, I don't recommend that you do that. I don't recommend that you do that, Pisces. Um, if anything, I highly recommend that you just make peace with whatever happened here between you and this person and just let it go. And just let it go because they're clearly letting this go and moving forward and moving on with their life and connecting with somebody else. Um, so you may want to do the exact same thing, but to avoid this heartache, you know, that you're embarking upon, to be completely honest, by resurfacing back up here for them, I wouldn't resurface, dude. I would not resurface back up here for this person. I would not, okay? But yeah, that's what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description box down below. You can also follow me on TikTok. It's also in the description box down below. But that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.